welcome to the bread kitchen. This week I'm going to make a loaf which is bursting with flavour thanks to the addition of walnuts and blue cheese. So for this loaf I'm going to use a mixture of wholemeal and white flours. You could use 100% of either but the white flour just brings a little bit of extra lightness into the wholemeal loaf. So I'm going to use 400 grams of good strong wholemeal bread flour, 100 grams of strong white bread flour, 300 mils of lukewarm water, 100 grams of crumbled blue cheese. I'm using Stilton but you could use Gorgonzola, Danish Blue, Bleu d'Averne, whatever you want. 100 grams of crushed walnuts. Here I've got two teaspoons of black treacle or you could use dark molasses. This is purely optional. If you don't have it in your cupboard don't rush out and buy it but it does add that little extra something into the loaf. Two teaspoons of dried yeast and a teaspoon of salt. Now if you're using treacle the first thing you're going to want to do is to dissolve it in the water. This may take a little time. Eventually it will all dissolve, at which point you can add in the yeast, mix well and leave for 10 minutes for the yeast to get going. Now into a large bowl put the flours, the walnuts and the salt and mix them around well. Now we'll add in the blue cheese pieces and mix those in too. I just find it helps to get a more even mixture if you add in the cheese at the last. Now what you can do if you've got big lumps like this is you can kind of break them up a bit more and rub them into the flour. Once the yeast is going add in the yeast water treacle mix and mix to a nice soft dough. So after a couple of minutes I've ended up with a dough which is soft and isn't sticky at all. So I'll plop my dough on a very lightly floured surface and knead this now for 10 minutes. So after 10 minutes of hard work your hands should smell of walnuts and cheese. The dough should be slightly springy so now we can pop it into a lightly greased bowl, cover and then pop it in a warm place to allow the dough to double in size. Once the dough has risen we can turn it out, knock it back to get rid of any air bubbles and then I'm just going to knead the dough for two or three minutes. Now once you've got your dough you can do pretty much what you like with it. You can put it into a loaf tin or you could put it into a, a ball shape like this or you could make little rolls out of it. I'm actually going to cut mine in three. I'll take each piece and roll it out. So I've got three sausages about 30 centimetres long and I'm going to plait them. So I'll put them side by side, press the one end together, one into the middle, outside to the inside, outside to the inside, outside to the inside, outside to the inside and then press the ends together. There we are, neat little plait. Now I'll pop this plait onto a lightly floured baking tray. Put it inside a plastic bag, a nice big plastic bag and then I'll leave it in a warm place for about 30-40 minutes to allow it to prove. Well this has risen very well so I'm now going to pop it in the oven a 200 degrees C fan oven, 220 normal oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. After about 25 minutes the loaf will be this lovely brown colour. Now leave to cool. This loaf goes really well with cheese or smoked meats or in fact just on its own with a bit of butter. Mmm, it really is a tasty bread and as I said you can just eat it on its own with butter. I hope you enjoy making your blue cheese and walnut bread and do join me next time in the bread kitchen. Mm -hmm.